Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Zane here at Sharky's Paradise. We're gonna be explaining the process of setting up and breaking down here at Sharky's. So I have my station all ready to kind of get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a disinfectant and just do a light spray on everything that I'll be using right here, the chair and the table. Once I have that completed, and start wrapping everything up. What's uh, the main goal basically is to create a pocket in this area to protect mainly the equipment. up all the plastic, just make it look all nice. As you can see with the wrap here, I created a good nice barrier that of any ink or uh, blood ever drips off of the client or my machine, it will be caught in this and it will protect the equipment and the client. At this stage, I'll start bagging my bottle and my machine. It's already cold this time, but usually at this stage of the process, after I've bagged and wrapped my machine up, that's when I'd fill it. Just slide that right in there. Bring that over. Start off wrapping up my machine. Take some coflets. Put one layer right there. Put this over the top, and the reason I use two pieces of plastic that overlap to protect the machine and our clients is that. Uh, the bottom of the machine turns to adjust needle depth, and if it was one piece attached to it all the way through, it would twist up, get all restricted. Wrap that under. Drop the medical tape again. Go flex. This is medical tape, and I'll use that to close up the other end. Sometimes I use shoe grips, other kinds of things, but this is going to be a real quick touch up today. So. Alright, 
there you have it. Well, you just currently set at 7.6. My battery percentage is 36%, which is more than enough to get the job done today. And the last thing is a minute counter. I will get out two small caps for today. Grab just a little bit of our Tattoo Lovers Care Glide and Aftercare. This stuff is the bomb. It has CBD in it, vegan friendly, smells great. Won't need too much of it today. Just a tiny little. All right, so we'll be using uh, world famous Tattoo Ink. It's all the ink that our shop carries and supplies. Super great, made in the USA. Whisk for an ink stirrer, which I have right here. These are super handy dandy. All right, and you just dip that in there. And all right, now all I need to do is grab some distilled uh, water. and then all I need to do is tape up my equipment that I'm going to be using today. And yeah, we are all ready to set. Let's do it. I took care of my uh, client's add-on for today. We're going to start with breaking down and the uh, first step of my process here is prep. So I'm going to lay out a second surface to lay my equipment once I have sterilized it. Put that right there and now we will make our free complimentary slushie that comes with every client here at Sharkies. Gold standard liquid solidifier. Ultimate Tattoo Supply. Shout out Ultimate. Now that we have that done, the first step of the process will be taking care of the needle that I have used. When I break down, I have one contaminated hand at the beginning and one clean hand. This is very vital to the cross-contamination part of the process. We dispose of our needle there. Policy, always. You know, best policy of the worker, always. Now that I have that done, I will transfer my equipment over to the surface. I'll take that off, pick up the uncontaminated surface with my clean hand, pull off the other end, take off all the co-flex, and then I'll place that on the surface here. Same thing with my auto. I will reveal the uncontaminated surface. Pick that up with my hand, push this plastic on the outside, and just pull that down and leave it right there. And I'll also set that in there. Now that I have my equipment that I use for the tattoo that's uh, not single use and I've gotten that down there, I can contaminate both my hands as I break down all of the equipment here. I usually like to start from the top to the bottom just to make sure I never forget anything. Go over here, I will now raise my chair. table and then I'll just kind of make a pocket out of all the single use equipment that I have here. 
know, even though we've been working out, it's not going to be done a lot. So, I want everybody to move forward. Bam. I'll now dispose of these gloves. So we can start by making the habit of checking all of these paper towel dispensers and soap dispensers throughout the entire business all the time. Let me show all you right, now that I have a clean pair of gloves on, I can start my sanitation process. I'm going to take out one piece of paper towel. Open this up. These are central pole. Grab my sanitizer. Discard these two paper towels, and I am set up and ready to set up for my new client whenever that comes. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, definitely make sure to subscribe to our channel if you've been watching. We uh, really appreciate you guys. The love and support means everything to us, so thank you. Have a dope ass day.